There's a reason why VW have brought us to Santa Monica to have a quick drive of their ID Buzz concept over there, the, the retro Type 2 Microbus remake. And that's because this is where the original air called split screen van and the bay window van became kind of accepted as kind of hippie cool, really. This is probably their biggest market for this car. Oh, look, it's a Tesla. Hang on. It, one of dozens. Come over with me, quick. This is probably illegal in the States walking across the road. I don't know. I don't really care. This is a, a street that it's not shut. Um, amazingly, there is security and the police are sort of uh, chaperoning the car when it gets driven. But this is the only ID buzz in existence. There's not any more than one. So the one you've seen all the pictures of at motor shows, it's that car. And I'm going to get to drive it. Can't overstate the importance of this car because when the original VW uh, microbus came out, it was the first people carrier. It was the first mass-produced people carrier. And then it's just gained this huge cult status because with that friendly V-shaped front, of course it hasn't got a split windscreen anymore. It's got a huge glass house, beautifully spacious and airy. VW's boss has said by 2025 they reckon they'll be selling a million electric vehicles. That's not that far away. Put normal mirrors on it and a couple of the other bits uh, and it's as close as production as it's hopefully going to get. Hopefully they won't dilute it, which is always the danger. Got the police chaperone here, look. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I mean, I've been waiting for a, a retro remake of the VW Type 2 for 15 years, something like that. I just hope they actually bring an electric beetle out as well. That's the next step. There it is on the street in the wild. Touchscreen door handle. Well, concept on the street. This doesn't happen very often. So you know, just put it in D. Yeah. This is special. This is a very special episode of Fully Charged. We're on the street in Santa Monica, uh, just just near LA. I am driving uh, the Volkswagen ID Buzz, probably the coolest electric. No, in, uh, stop, 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 stop. Where? No, 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 no stop. Rio. Okay. Rio. God, this is stressful. Driving a one off and, car. And you turn uh, in front of police lane, please. You turn? Okay. So, this is a big car, actually. As I'm doing a U turn, you realise it's about the size of the current Volkswagen Transporter, the T6 which is, you know, the, the evolution of what was a nice air-cooled commercial vehicle. It's, you can see uh, it's an oblong steering wheel uh, in a very concept car-y way. Um, and it's got the transmission on here. The dash has got nothing on it. It's just all smooth, um, very minimal. You've got, um, well, a garden gnome, really, in a Buddha position here. And I think that's a little take on the original uh, Beetles and Vans, where they had a little bud vase and you could put a flower on the dash. That's maybe a little hat tip to that. You've got a, a, an, I, an iPad here mounted on little plinths which comes out of here. These look like the sort of business class um, aeroplane centre consoles where the, the tray folds out in a neat way. You've got USB connectivity and stuff, parcel tray underneath. The floor is totally flat and wood veneer covered. Concept cars don't normally drive very well. Um, this particular one has the front and back axle uh, based upon an e-golf, so it's four-wheel drive. Um, and it has the batteries out of an e-golf. The batteries on the ID Buzz live under the floor at the back here. Big, flat, open floor. Because remember, this was always based on a, a commercial vehicle. That was the whole point of the Type 2, as it was called. Uh, the split-screen van, bay window, whatever you want to call it. Originally born in um, 1949, after some preliminary sketches in 1947, uh, from a, a Dutch Beetle importer called Ben Pon, who said, well, why don't we take the Beetle floor pan and turn it into a commercial vehicle? with the engine at the back, the drivetrain at the back, nice flat floor for carrying goods. And that's what became this Colt vehicle. But it really, it was America, in the west coast of America here, where it took the, it made this utilitarian van quite kind of hippie cool. And fast forward 60 years and people still love it. I'm glad now that they haven't brought one out until now because the retro remake is such a sacred thing uh, for the Type 2. And having electric propulsion is possibly the most 
uh, appropriate because it has all this flat floor, no transmission tunnel. It can make short overhangs. You see, the VW transporters, the diesel powered ones that we've got now, have a bonnet. This doesn't have a bonnet. It has a really, really uh, snub nosed with the wheels pushed right out to the corners. And that was really what the silhouette of the air cooled Type 2 was like. I think this policeman pre presumes I've been doing this all day. He's getting shirty with me because I'm, I'm not doing a U-turn because they've had to momentarily close some of these roads so that Volkswagen lets, let us drive this. And it's um, and the rear view mirror doesn't move because it's a concept car, it's all quite unfinished. And you can hear it's uh, creaking. But when this comes to production, it should have a range of up to 372 miles, apparently. Uh, not to 60 of five seconds and up to 374 horsepower um, propulsion. I quite like the transmission, the auto trans being on the um, on the steering wheel. It's a police motorbike. Oh, I don't want to crash into that. In terms of price, these concept cars, it's hard to price them because they're worth potentially worth you know millions. Um, in years to come, I will look back at this fondly. I'm pulling in now outside a hipster coffee shop, of course, where there's a fixed wheel bike and more men with beards. And uh, I don't want to curb it because not just concept wheels, but also concept tires. Concept cars have special tires. Going to put it in park. Now this can also autonomously drive. We won't be doing that today. When it goes into autonomous driving mode, this oblong radical steering wheel disappears into the dash. So it just ends up looking like a lounge. And that's the thing about the ID Buzz. It's a spacious lounge environment. Amazing. Brief, but, but, but special. I hope that gives you half uh, an idea of what this is gonna be like. So much better looking than a diesel T6 with animal and surf stickers, don't you think? has pulled up over there next to a classic split screen, the one that we just saw. So you can have a, a good look at the old right next to the new. This is one of those Luke, I am your father moments, isn't it? Look at that. So you can see the size difference immediately. But the DNA is there which it hasn't been, I don't think, on a lot of uh, VW's previous production versions. Okay, so this is interesting because these VW ID concepts have been here all week doing um, select drives and select um, videos for people like us for different media around the world. And the ID and the ID Cross, we've just caught them in this little, uh, well, it's normally a car wash in Santa Monica, and they're just checking them, charging them, and making sure that they're all all right before they go back out to the rest of the media. So obviously that's the ID. Think of that as the, the sort of electric replacement for the Golf, or the replacement for the e-Golf actually from 2020. So much like the Beetle and the Golf, the original Golf, and the original Beetle back in the 70s, they tried to end the production of the Beetle and to start the Golf, but the Beetle was still really popular. So they continued the Beetle and the Golf production along one another. And of course the Golf back then was really fresh and really radical. I see this in the same way. The Golf will continue, but the ID is Golf proportioned, kind of, it is Golf sized in many, many ways. Uh, this will start production in 2020. And then over here is the ID Cross, and that's a crossover as the name lends itself to. So this here is a, a four seater um, cross crossover SUV, car sized, sliding back doors, conventional front doors. Venice Beach, home for many years to the surfers, the skaters, the stoners, and now also the segwayers, if that's the thing. But we're here because the ID Buzz concept has moved to sit next to the beach, and it's next to its grandfather. Have a look.
It's not until you put the ID buzz nose to nose with the original split screen Type 2 that you see they've got the silhouette really similar. Bearing in mind they'd never be able to create this shape exactly the same because of modern safety standards and all the rest of it and the luxury that we all want these days. I don't want my knees to be the crumple zone which is what these old ones were because the seat was on top of the of the front wheels. Hopefully VW will start selling this in 2022 as all three flavours. A commercial van, a people carrier, and then a camper. The reason why it's so popular I think because it symbolises freedom. It's a very simple design, it's colourful, it's, it's characterful but it symbolises freedom. You can go anywhere, you can modify it how you like and that's why I think this car always became much more than a car. The irony is now surfers can't afford them because they're too expensive. I've had a few of these I actually sold mine when the prices started to go nuts because I needed to buy a house, I needed to be sensible. I miss the look of these, I don't miss driving them particularly because as standard they drive quite badly. <laughs> this is the face isn't it? This is the face that everyone knows. So they made this shape, the split screen as we know and love, uh, went on sale in 1950 and finished in 66, 67. And then it went into the bay window, which means uh, the window was one piece, not two piece. And then it went into the, uh, the Type 25. But finally now we've got one that's electric. And I think this lends itself to the retro face much more. And the reason for that is because it doesn't have to have a bonnet because there isn't an engine under there. That's a luggage compartment. There's an air conditioning radiator hidden behind there. There is an electric motor because it's four wheel drive. So there's an electric motor axle at the front, electric motor axle at the back. And of course inside is almost a blank canvas. It can be a van, it can be a people carrier with five seats, six seats, seven seats, or it can be a camper with all of the cupboards and the cooking facilities and the sleeping facilities. That's what's so great about these. Oh, very cozy. All right, there we go. I'm fortunate enough to share the space inside the ID Buzz, the, uh, the living space, with the designer of it. Uh, Mr. Heiner Castillo? Exactly. Is that yeah. how you say it? Heiner Castillo. Heiner yeah. Castillo. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is great because we've seen a few concepts from VW over the years. Yeah. This is the most faithful to the original because of the way you can package it around electricity. Exactly. So it's for you as a designer, was it quite liberating? Yeah, you absolutely. You don't have to package a diesel engine at the front exactly. and yeah. have a big bonnet. Exactly. Yeah. With this new platform, we put the wheels uh, close to the corners, long wheelbase. Yeah. We have a huge cabin. Uh, and then we achieve, as I say, this monolithic shape that is actually makes the bully the bully. You know? Yeah. How did you become the guy that made the final version? We had several sketches and one of my ideas was, was, was picked to, to do the exterior. And yeah. What, I mean, what an opportunity. It, it's insane. I mean, it's Because it's one of the most sacred yeah, exactly. designs yeah, of yeah. all cars. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just fantastic uh, to be part of the history of this car. Yeah, to be connected with, with such a icon of the yeah. not, not only of the uh, Volkswagen but the whole industry. Well, and also where it's parked now. I mean, this is where it was sort of born for. Exactly. Where it, on Venice Beach with skaters, surfers. Yeah. This this kind of lifestyle made uh, the legend of the of the T1 grow. You know? Yeah. This this lifestyle of of, of uh, enjoying to be outside uh, to make trips. Yeah. To do camping, to be with friends, to enjoy life. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because it feels so amazingly uh, spacious in here with the two, two glass roofs. Our main target was was to generate a kind of a lounge space. You can you can push uh, the emblem in the in the steering wheel, for example, and then we'll dive into the dash. It's amazing, and, and you can just relax, and enjoy the, the drive with, with friends. And then and the two front seats can turn into the captain's chairs, exactly. I think they call them. Yeah. And then in here we've got the rails along this veneer floor. Yeah. yeah. This uh, um, and this is so that you can fit an additional set of seats here, like exactly. a caravel. Yeah. Yeah. So then it would be like a people carrier. It's about flexibility, it's yeah. about configuration. You can play uh, as you wish with the interior space. Yeah. Tell me what your favorite part of the design is. The face, the yeah. face. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy that we achieved such an icon again yeah. without being retro. Yes. And this was very important for us. If, let's go out and if I'd like you to show me around the car yes. in your own words, because I, I don't know how, if we can close it up or we'll just leave it, I don't mind. I know these concept cars, they're, they're working ornaments almost, aren't they? They're not, yeah. they're not real cars. Exactly. Look at the front section, it's, 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 just, it's just one line, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. 
So although this is more rake than the original, and it probably has to be for safety and... Exactly, because remember, uh, in this car, you were sitting on top of the Exxon. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, you are sitting actually here on your, top of the Your Exxon. legs, your knees yeah, were here. Yeah. But now, for safety reasons, it's not possible anymore. Yeah, well, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> but, this is, but this is nice and thin. There's yeah. a, quite a wraparound screen. I've noticed the peak, the classic yeah. peak exactly. from the original. Yeah. And you know what? Plant shape was as well very important for us. Yeah. We couldn't go uh, uh, hard corners in the front. Yeah. We wanted to go really, really soft around and then the hard edge on, on the rear. Yeah. So for, aerodynamically, for aero. it's probably pretty good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As well as being a good piece of design. Yeah. The lights are built into the bonnet. Yeah, the concept was to have only one skin, you know. Okay. And no steps, no, no uh, different levels. But this is actually where it breaks up the two-tone paint. This is exactly. a brushed aluminum. This is an actual, is it, it's not an air intake, is it? Is that air? No, 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 no. Actually, it was thought for, for ambient light, oh. you know. Oh, so like, you like the down lighters on the handles exactly. and things. That, so when you press of, uh, this has an LED in here. Show different moods, like in the interior as well. Yeah. You know? So you, this groove continues. Integrates, uh, integrates these, uh, not door handles, but sensors. Sensors. That will open the doors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes. You've got, this, this harks back to the original um, T1. T1 and the, the bay window where the air goes in. Yeah. yeah. And it's very important for us, the, the pillar on the rear, yeah. which is one of the uh, Volkswagen elements. It is. So this is where the, 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 the plug lives for the charger. Exactly, yeah. You it's touch it, I don't want to break it. <laughs> it's integrated to the, to oh, the okay. elements. Right? Yeah. That's lovely. That's really neat, isn't it? The tailgate goes from there to there. Exactly. So it's the whole back of the car. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I love the, the, the bold but simple delivery of it going back to the basics yeah. going back to the to the true values i grew up in mexico and, okay and oh right so I've, I've seen these cars all my life yeah and the, well, the, you the guys beetle. the beetle was the made beetle, yes for what 30 Until, more years yes. than in germany or 40 more years yeah, yeah i was growing up with the with the old team models and 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 Kefa. Yeah. And the old Beetle, yeah. These, these circles on the, the roof, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a circle here and there's a circle there. Is these this? are sensors okay. for, the, for the autonomous driving. It's, it's sensing this corner and this corner. Exactly. And then you've got a camera here, very neatly disguised. Is this a brake light in here? Exactly, yeah. Okay. The car is actually full of sensors. We have uh, sensors integrated to, to the graphics. Uh, I love all that because it's hidden. It's not cluttering. Exactly. Yeah, we wanted to keep very, very as clean as possible the whole yeah. car. You've done a stunning job, you know. I have to Thank say. You. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm quite a purist because you're dealing with a very precious icon. Yeah, yeah. It was not not easy, but the team did a fantastic work in, yeah. back in Wolfsburg. We worked really, really hard to to do this. I love the fact all these people who are taking camera phone pictures and obsessing of it. They don't know that you're the the guy that did the final <laughs> design. It's, it's awesome. Thank you so much for Thank letting you. us drive it and have a sniff around it in such detail. It's, I feel very privileged. There you go, the ID Buzz, on sale in 2022. Can you make it a bit sooner? Could I have one in 2020? <laughs> you could try to buy this one. Maybe. Good luck, good luck with that, <laughs> good luck. I am sat in the VW ID, which is the first in the ID electric family, with Jerome Coopers. Is that uh, right? That's this your name. This is right, Johnny. This what is, right. is your title in Volkswagen? Oh, I'm working in the in the product line, uh, e-mobility. Okay. And uh, I'm there responsible for uh, ID cars here, which we're seeing today. This is going to be a really big shift because I think this is going to be e-mobility going mainstream. That's right, yes. People are saying this could be the one of the biggest shifts in sort of the car evolution since the electric starter motor and since uh, the Model T Ford. Yeah, for us and our company, it's like the, the shift from, from the Beetle to the Golf in the past. Yeah, So it's yeah. really a big thing for us. What is the ID family? Uh, the ID family is, um, yeah, for us, it's it's key for the future. Yeah, Enormous range, yeah, range for daily use. Yeah. So that means ranges from yeah, 200 to 350 miles, yeah. fast charging network. So this is the key Yeah, so for, for this platform. So it's not just the cars, it's the infrastructure. The range, then the fast charging capability, and also the, the new opportunities they offer in, in, in space and in, in the interior lengths. Yeah? It's amazing, so, it's t totally flat floor. There's nothing to stop my legs from being completely in the passenger right. footwell, uh, apart from me invading a personal space. 
and then the, under here there's, there's there's no center console really there's an armrest it's all so minimal and open and relaxing yeah, this i mean you've got awesome. a full panoramic roof which always opens it up so you're sitting now here in a car which has a length from a golf yeah, but has an interior space like a passat it's 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 revolution in packaging right now, am i right in thinking that all three of these cars have got induction charging we will offer this also yes we will okay. offer also inductive charging for sure yeah but also normal fast charging capability via plug our solution for for the plug is to refill these cars in up to 80 percent in around about 30 minutes so it's really really fast charging capability nice. in the car have they all got four-wheel drive capability um the id cross yes and the id bus also but the id will just have rear Rear wheel drive. Yeah, so, Fantastic. Yeah. So rear wheel drive, you've got um, they've all got autonomy? Fully autonomy for sure when it able to do this for, for, for legal perspective, yeah. yeah. So, so we're thinking about twenty twenty five then it's fully autonomous, yeah. That's right. But what we will offer what, what we can offer, yeah. So the the, the the car is prepared for it. Yeah. Yeah. So we come up with this and we come up with a solution right from the start on, yeah. What 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 does MEB stand for? Uh, so for uh, the translation is uh, modular modular electric platform. Yeah. This okay. is okay. Uh, yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. There's a German translation is modularer electric Baukasten. Yeah. So Baukasten. Baukasten like a chassis. Uh, like like platform. Yes. Like, yes, like chassis. Right. Yeah. You have uh, in these cars these augmented reality display, which you I can also that can order. Yeah. With this car. Yeah. Yeah. You you directly looking. Uh, just uh, on the street and uh, you can do protection on the street where, where, where you have to drive and get some really interesting uh, also multimedia information in this display. And then there's so much technology in here but yet it's not flooding your mind and it's not cl cluttering you with, with loads of buttons and loads and loads of screens. It's actually, it's brilliant because this is the kind of technology I like. It, it is there but you can decide how in your face you want it to be always online all our MEBs will be always online or the family members so will they see so what in terms of software updates yes right? right so you can do software upgrades yeah and also link to our Volkswagen ecosystem we call we call this ecosystem we by Volkswagen yeah okay. you have your own ID Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you link it into your car. You link it in. Yeah. Then your personal settings are totally directly loaded. Yeah. When you come into the car. Right. So, so and your multimedia. Right. And, okay. And it's run on the Volkswagen OS. Yeah. So it's really working really simple together. Yeah. And so I think that the ID series of cars um, bringing them to market has been undoubtedly accelerated because of the the diesel situation, VW's diesel situation, and I think in a way that's had a really positive impact on us getting these cars earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys have made a firm statement. The Volkswagen Group saying that, that, that we're going to divert away from diesel yeah. and and focus on EV. Yeah, yeah like you see, uh, we are we are just looking forward yeah, and going with great cars and with great services around the cars. Yeah, Do you, what you already can see in the show cars. Yeah, they are really close on the series production already. Yeah. For me, the holy grail for this would be this platform. Um, making a, a new a new Beetle uh -huh. completely EV. I just think it'd be fantastic. There's a woman posing right next to you with a bikini. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen And she's got there. a tail. Uh, oh yeah, she that's she that's ludicrous. Tail, yeah. She actually yeah. has a tail. Yeah. No, <laughs> um, no, you are right. You, you are, what you are describing is uh, to bring uh, emotional products of the on the new platform. Yeah, because it's a character car. When you're a kid and you look at a Beetle or a bus like that, like the split screen Type Twos and, and that sort of thing, they have a face. And, and I think what VW has been really good at in the past is creating cars which they have a character. And you, a lot of people's criticism of electric cars is because they're silent and um, it means that it may be devoid of character. I hope, and I, from what I've seen, Volkswagen has, has realised the importance of not only making a good quality, good high range EV, but an EV with charisma. Yeah, you're totally right. So we definitely come up with this ID concept in Europe, yeah, yeah. as a first market. So and um, when you look at the ID, it's, it's really it's a hatch, yeah, and it's really fits perfectly to the needs of the of, or to the to the expectations of the of the European customers. When you look at the ID Cross, this is a world concept, yeah. yeah. We, it has to be perfect fit for 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 the Chinese market also, yeah. Yeah, and that well, that'll be obviously the flagship for now. So it'll be more expensive. A uh, bigger range car, but that's the one that I want. This is the one you want. That's yeah? the one that I want. To yeah, no, our brand, yeah, the People's Car brand, yeah. yeah? So the People's Car Company. Of course it yeah, is. It, it stands for f also for affordability, yeah. And um, so this is also our task 
to, to do e-mobility for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah? So we, we really would like to bring it to a price point that the people can afford it. Is there any word from VW uh, how many ID cars you're going to make? Uh, we will come up to, until 2025, around about with 20, 20 Volkswagen brand cars. 20 models platform. by 2025. Because yes. I know worldwide for sure. Yeah. Worldwide, worldwide, yeah. You've seen the excitement around it, and, and for certainly for viewers of fully charged uh, people who are already interested in electric cars and already buying electric cars, you know, for them this is exciting because they know they'll actually be able to buy this and that and that in the next couple of years. So that's what's cool about this. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Today's been really exciting. I haven't even been on the beach, I haven't stepped foot on it. But what I have done is I've driven some concept cars which aren't going to stay as concepts. And that's the thing for me that's really exciting. This, the ID, is a concept, but it's going to become reality in 2020. This, the ID Buzz, the beautiful ID Buzz, this is going to become real in 2022. And that, for me, makes all of this worth it. Because if they were just concepts, it would be okay. If, if knowing that they're going to be real, that makes such a big difference. You see, VW were naughty with the whole diesel gate situation, but out of that, that naughtiness has come the accelerated commitment to EVs, and that's where the whole ID family becomes so much more exciting, so much more relevant to people like us and the fully charged viewers. So I'm, I'm very excited, and that, that can't come soon enough.